Yeah. We're heading back this way. Did some wandering around very briefly. Did not see what we wanted to see. Thus we move on. Did I just do a loop? Yep. No, I didn't. We came in from there. I did not do a loop. That is... More life. Yeah, we've got full life. So. Is this right? Where are you going? This is not right, is it? What? I'm trying to get to the elevator. We've got to leave. You want to go down a floor, don't you? We can't go down a floor. We go through, yeah, elevator. Done that one already. Where the fuck up? This isn't right either. I want to be up there. There's the exit. How do I? Is it through the NSC energy converters? No, because that loops down that way. Doesn't it? Got the lift with the diamond on it. The pyramid. I want that lift up there at the very top of the map. Wow. This is the thing we powered up last time. Yeah. This doesn't help us. Because it's just going to keep spawning things. This is going to take us back to the control room. We started the uh, the thing off. Started the session in. Yeah, we managed to make our way here instead of over there. Okay, no, because isn't there a? Th can we fast travel? Yeah. Just fast travel from here. Fast travel. Central executive. Why didn't we just do that? Because I'm an idiot. Get lost. I get lost. There's a whole bunch. Like I don't know how to reach that other than it was climbing up from a thing. I think we need to do some jumping, maybe. But definitely feed TVs to the furnace. Yeah. We'll be back there later when we've got some more abilities. Yeah. Metroidvania. Snag a checkpoint. Because look, one, two abilities locked. Yeah. One of them has to be floaty double jump. Yeah. Uh, astral constructs, weapon forms. We can upgrade our grip. Weapon form upgraded. Now has two slots. All right. That's how you upgrade it. I think so. That's the wrong button. So, grip now has an extra slot there. Damage boost, rate of fire boost, weapon armor damage, ammo refund chance on hit. Yeah, if you feed all of the things to yeah. the TVs to that, apparently it gives you an ammo refund 100% chance. All oh, right, instead of a 38% chance. Yeah, so every hit you make, you get, you get your enough. shot back. All right. Which is not really that critical. When That's you, infinite ammo. Yeah, but you've got infinite ammo anyway. You've just got to recharge. Yes, speak with Emily. Where are you, Emily? She's in the boardroom. She's here. 
I heard the Hiss attacked the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. I know what I'm doing, said no one. No, is the boardroom there? I don't know where. Cafeteria, nostalgia department. She's up a floor, isn't she? You were going right. Oh, there no, it is. She's right there. I am so bad at navigation. Jesse, you made it. Yes. And you lifted the internal lockdown. I did. Let's talk, Emily. Yes. Shut up. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. <clears throat> through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, Friendly but it... Being. She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I came here to kill you. <clears throat> I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Or a nuclear missile. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Clearance level three. Wow. Okay. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. We're very close to something. People watching may Do have realized. Something's coming. Yes. <laughs> Bigger. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. 
Ah. And when time comes, I will come calling. I told you he wasn't. He's yeah, he's not blue and good. orange morality. Anyway. Before we stop that, if you remember the old gods of Asgard, yeah. you know those two old coots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And remember they had that song, Balance yeah. Slays the Demon? Yeah. Yeah. If you play that song backwards, there is a hidden message in it that says, all this will happen again in a town called Ooh, Ordinary. Yeah. yeah. So... We're... The hiss slash spread is searching for transmissions slash speakers to corrupt slash chaos. The astral plane is a conflux slash switchboard. Oh, there we go. The hiss will come for us slash all. You must stop slash shut up then. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're not we're not going to the astral plane just yet. I don't think we're going to go to the astral Hi, plane. Hi, Jesse. Right. Oh, darling. All new talky bits. Control points. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh... Has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What? I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. But we have. Yeah. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. No. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Ocean View Motel and Casino. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. She's like Egon. Yeah. Okay, what's Pope's role? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Okay, wow. now, uh, what about these building shifts? Yeah. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? <laughs> it's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. Oh, How do okay. people work here? I guess they just like pick weird shit and yeah. poke it to see what happens. <laughs> Darling's whereabouts? I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. <clears throat> Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Fair comment. Okay, well, thank you very much for all of that, Pope. See you soon. Be careful out there. 
weird shit's going on. Let's stick yeah. our fingers into we it. We can now go up through level three doors. So, find Marshall, Old Boys Club, researching parapsychology. Maintenance, major targets. Go to the NSC energy converters. Yeah. We were just there, dude. No, I'm going to the Old Boys Club. I'm not. Okay, fine, we'll go to the NSC Energy Convert. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Fast oh. travel. NSC. NSC Cooler. Energy Pumps. Converters. Energy Converters, yeah. There are major targets here, apparently. Major targets. So these are going to be the randomly spawning mission shit, and mm. we've already done some of that stuff. But, you know, we might as well just poke our head in, see what a major target is. Well, we get that, and then when you've bumped them off, you get an extra bonus. Bumped With a bit of luck. Right. We have ability points. We've got six abilities. Uh, shield barrage. One unleashed shield propels debris at nearby yes. enemies. Cost three of them. 100% to shield barrage damage. We've done everything. Oh, we got an additional personal mod slot. Good. So let's equip that now by working out which button is which. Second personal mod slot. So with that, dodge efficiency, evade energy cost, launch energy cost, minus 7% energy plus 5. That one is crap. We can deconstruct right away. Dodge efficiency, evade, energy cost, 12%. So I imagine you can probably stack them. Health boost, we don't ever want health boosts. Launch energy cost, shield strength, plus 33%. I'm going to go with evade energy cost because we use evade quite a lot. <laughs> okay, maintenance, major targets. Go to the NSC energy converters. We've We're got 15 the NSC minutes to energy do it. Converters. So... Ah, oh, it's not that big glowy room that made you go poorly, is it? Eliminate major targets. Hiss. We can't go in there. Right. Yeah, that that still kills us. Ah, here we go. Here's the major target. Ow. Oh, Deputy Operative ID G572. You've got a name. Get his shield up. Shield's not going to help with the suicide explosion. I'm nearly dead. Oh, there's a supervisor. Yeah. We failed it. That's it. It's failed forever. Change your gun to the No, it's failed forever. Run. Fail forever. Yeah, did you not just see? Ah, oh. we failed the mission. I thought it would let us redo that one. No, nope. I'm sure it will spool back around. But uh, right, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, or it's knocked on. Let's have a look. We can't go in there. Well, that's what triggered the lock, wasn't it? Change your gun for the spinny whirly thing. Why would I want a submachine gun? Missions. Kill his troopers in the maintenance. Yeah, no, we've that what that other one's finished. It's done. Oh bugger. Yeah, we okay. failed it. Go back to save point and have another go. There is no save point. Mm. We failed it, Bob. It's over. Yeah. Maybe you've got to bing stuff to there and then throw it in there. No, whatever it is, we can't do it yet. Come on. Pay attention. So we want to... Fast travel. To central executive. 
Let's go to Central Executive first and work out where we're going. Okay. You're gutted that we can't do that again. It, yeah. will, it will spool back through. You've you've seen how it works. It's like, oh, you have 15 minutes to do that. You have 10 minutes to do this. Right. Research parapsychology. Where would research parapsychology be? Uh, Let's go to the elevator. They say the new director Research sector. So we go to research sector and then we go to Paris. That's a completely new map then. Yes. But now we know you've got to go back to the lift to trigger the next map. Didn't know that before. Okay. There's a lot here. Yes. Central research. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. That's Somebody it. thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic That's happens. It's Alan Wake's voice, and I can't not hear it. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> okay. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Yep. Well. I see how that's the ritual division. But unfortunately, the building has shifted and blocked that door. Yeah. yeah bad, bad juju down there. The signpost over there. Dr. Darling's office, dimensional reset. Parapsychology. Oh, we floaters. Wow. wow. Son of a bitch. I think we need a shotgun for this one. No need floaters. Still in a fight. Yeah, there's more. They're all down there. Long range, throwing. <laughs> Sniper. Three, four. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted and people like them a bit too much. If you ask me, are we being invaded by house plants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. Okay. I'm hoping these guys will make their way up to me. We've got to go up. We've got parapsychology is down there. Yeah. Dimensional research and Dr. Darling's office are up there. Yeah, but parapsychology is where he is. But 
there's also bad juju there. So let's head up first. Ah, oh, fucking bet you there's something in that hole. I'm That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. You have to be pretty close for that to kick in, though. We still going? Yeah, still one uh, somewhere. No, it's just saved. Dimensional research. Parasoy. Oh, oh, okay. I think this is the wrong way. That's the other way on that bridge thing, maybe. Ugh. Fire break. Possibly changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. Okay, Mr. Trench. An impossible labyrinth we can never pass. Oh dear. Ashtray maze. <laughs> oh right, yeah. We're gonna go to get to the end of the corridor and pop out right back here. It's one of those. Oh dear. And we're in there now. We can't get back out. Okay. Oh. That's sending us somewhere where it wants us to go. This is the entrance. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some memorizing here. So forward. Yeah. We've got 13 minutes. There's a box here that I missed. That takes us here. That's going to take us back, isn't it? I don't know. It's clever. Yeah, this is the start. Yeah. Yeah, we're going that way then. Ah. Do you think you can make it? Okay. It's either going to be we have to walk a specific route or we have to... Didn't have time to get through there then. Sprint. No, I wanted that bit. Oh, I didn't get it though. <laughs> right, let's leave. Reset. I'm coming to the ashtray maze. No. no. This here. This is good. This is the. That's where I want to go. Because this leads back. So I'm wondering if. Uh, 
that's the wrong bit, but that should open up. But because that's opened up, that bit hasn't opened up because you have to approach it from the other angle. Bloody clever. Okay. That was too slow. No, there's an invisible wall there, so it's not that. It's not beating the maze, it's walking the correct route. Okay, ah, oh, and obviously the map is greyed out. Yeah. So, down to the end of the corridor. That opens up. This opens up. That opens up. That's... Mm. What happens if you go back now? I think it just closes behind us. That's nah, solid all the way. Yeah, stays open. So it stays open. Well, at least we know it stays open if you come backwards. Not a total waste of time, and it doesn't rejig. No, there is. There's exactly one right way through this. We've just looped back there. Close up behind me. Push me this way. Go that way. Uh, yeah. Can't get through it. Sends you back. Now you will walk. come down to here. This opens up. Uh, so. Is there a file you can give me on the ashtray maze? <laughs> this is optional, clearly, because we're meant to be up there. Yeah. But you like a challenge. We're going to spend the next couple of minutes here, and before we come off, unfortunately, we haven't got a save point. Yes. Yeah, we've already been in here and wrecked this place. Yeah, we wanted we wanted to go that way. Maybe you can't actually do it. I don't know. It's not... Okay. So the ashtray maze does not work for us at the moment. Although I have a horrifying feeling that... It, you no, know, actually, yes, you're supposed to solve it that like that. Because that would that not be more rewarding? So it would be rewarding. There is there is a very specific pattern to work on here. So there is a route. Yeah. Dr. Darling's office. Ah, must be loads of swag in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've been questions recently. Regarding HRAs, what are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the hadron resonance anyway? I... Fuck. He looks tired. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Huh. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. <laughs> <laughs> One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. 
We're making more. Well, that's me the time suits from Quantum Break. Resonance theory. <clears throat> Utilization of paranormal natural elements, resonance, confidential. Resonance, it's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But whatever the vibration is conscious, what could a force like that do? Redacted, open the door to a redacted, I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder, is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenons? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to file redacted for full report. Mm. We have a new hotline call from the board. Where? Unread. Ashtray maze. That's when he did when we were walking across. I'm averse across. to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest Now we're gonna have to crack lock. that lock. Yeah. Um, my head I already hurts. Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. Okay, well, give us a license then. Welcome to the research sector. Oh, we saw that. Yeah. That was the thing that was playing on the thing. Okay. That's just his balls. Yeah, but you can stop it, which is creepy. I'm now inside a box. There was something to interact with. Okay. okay. Darling, budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department, more breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Uh, He's not going to fuck you, bro. Um, oh, man, he hid it inside that maze. That's so bad. <clears throat> Astral plane and objects of power. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an ore or AWE occurred in its vicinity, uh, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house but the connection was severed and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. An attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Refer to file 632-6498 for full report. Alright. Okay. Yes, there are lots of potential bits. Um, well, that's the old um, optical illusion, isn't it? Yeah. Something over here. Oh, I got a folder. Astral plane counter essay. 
Objects of power and their astral connections. Alternative perspective. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not direct or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? Refer to file <laughs> 623-9382 for full report. Oh, thank you, Pope. It is um, a Bureau of Bureaucracy. Oh yeah. I prefer this to SCP, I'll tell you that much. But, again, this doesn't help us, but I guess goodbye. I don't know about that there ashtray maze. I wanted was to get here again. Uh, control point. Definitely getting burlier. We are getting burlier, definitely. So that takes us to the ashtray maze. Ooh. Done this floor. We have to go down there to parapsychology. Yeah. There's a shelter here, we can get a checkpoint. That's all I need, my dude. Health recovery. Ooh, Florida. Emergency call summary. Event summary, a possible or in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. Event is notably similar to or in which redacted. redacted. Event response, event is believed to have been caused by redacted and as a result the following measures have been taken to prevent redacted. Redacted, redacted and redacted. <laughs> My dude, all I want from you is a checkpoint of some kind. That's a big burly one. That's a dude with a sniper rifle, is what that is. Yeah. You've got no help. I know I've got no help. All the help is down there, and there's a guy with a sniper rifle. Notice they're all wearing the um, harnesses and yeah. done nothing for them. Senior staff officer. Record keeper. Oh. 80 collectibles. That's a lot of hairs. We got an intrusive pattern, that's good news. I think we're gonna have to try and we can't go this way, can we? I don't think so. We've gotta calm it somehow. Can we shoot it? Yeah, can destroy it. Parasite. 
psychology. There we go. Oh, uh, got a shift. Really? She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Executive Hiss knows. I don't know what that means. What? It, we got an alert. Go to the communications department. Yeah, but we can't fast travel, can we? I don't have a... Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to fail it again. Ah, elevator. Yeah, we can't use the elevator because it's shifted. We have to go this way, and I'm hoping by heading towards the light... We will find a... Shit. Somewhere around here. All I wanted was a fucking control point. It's down there somewhere. Juju, my dudes. There is some bad juju roundabout in one of those. Yeah. Are those are those doll. The I bet you those dummies move when you're not looking at them. I bet we'll do that at some point. Ah. Claim control point. The astro. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astro Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that Inverted black these are pyramid. staggeringly complex systems, and simplification yeah. does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked. Intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Why? Yes. <laughs> okay. Why? D vague, ominous astral constructs. Pierce. Pierce is precise with a charged shot that penetrates the armor and enemies at any range. Ooh. We need eight astral blips, 12 intrusive patterns, and 24,000 source. Okay. And there we go. We should now have, have to fast travel to the communication. No, we're done. We've overrun by like 15 right. minutes. Uh, okay. That is a long way to go to get to. I, ashtray maze is going to be a problem, I think. Either we don't have the key to get through there. He will give us the key. We don't even have communications as an option. Ah. Let's so. put that up. Uh. Oh, let's bug it out. There's just there's an incursion on a hiss node, and we can't do anything about it. As far as I know, we don't have access to communications. We have research. 
Maybe we go back to the lift. It's communication. Go back to the lift and then. Switch. We're not. We, we're now been going for about an hour, I think. There's communications over there. In central executive. Yeah. Well, if you want, we'll pop out in dead letters and see if we can get to um, communications next time. Fall down, isn't it? But I just wanted a checkpoint there because. Yeah. That maze, that maze is confusing, and I'm gonna have to either we we get a key, or we're gonna get some we'll notes or permission. something, yeah. left or right, left, right. Oh. Some there's there's no, a no, pattern. No, you, you've got to have a pass. Yeah. 